Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We hope that you enjoyed that fashion package from one fashion analyst or stylist to a fashion designer. We're joined by a, a designer. His name is Damlola Adeshemowo, and he's popularly known as Tiny. Today, he'll be joining us to share his fashion journey. Thank you for joining us, Tiny. Thank you for having me. We know that you're a stylist as well and as a designer, yeah. but you, your, your style, how would you decide, d describe your style? I like what I'm seeing. Here's a mixture of the drag. There's the... the the rings, the neck pieces, <laughs> and then your, your, your sneakers. How would you describe your style? Um, it's, it's, I just like to be comfortable. Like, um, I, I try to express how I feel. I don't have to say anything. I just have to express how I feel. And I call all this, this like, um, all that word shit. Like, uh, you know, I just, I just want to express how I feel. It's just normal. To so me. how do you feel now? I feel cool. Sometimes I dress like normal. Sometimes I wear short, you know. It's just how I feel at the moment. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, how did your journey into styling start? Seeing as you'd already done your MBA, in, you know, and you 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 studied something else that is not fashion, right? Yeah, yeah. So, how did the journey into styling and fashion start? Um, actually, um, what I can say is that um, my mom used to was into clothing, so I used to help her to go to do this local market. You know, when I was in primary school, you know, sell for her or make a little money and all that. So I think that's what that thing came from, you know. So was this in Lagos here? No, no, that was in um, Oshobo, Ocean State. Yeah. So um, I think that was, that was got into me from there. So and I love clothes. Like I can't do without having like. That's one of my weakness. Like I love clothes. I love shoes. You know. I like to stay fly. You know. Yeah. So. So do you draw the designs? I know that when it comes to this world of fashion, there are different facets. So there are people who their work is strictly to draw the designs. They are they they are illustrators. Some create the designs and then give to other people. Some people don't make designs. They just come and tell them, ah, this is what I want to make. Oh, can you make it for me? And you make it for them. I think those are like the tailors. Then there are the people who don't make clothes, but they are only to think this outfit and this outfit will go together, strictly styling. So which and which do you do? Um, actually, um, for now, I um, design like uh, just um, street wears, you know, high fashion. And how I used to get um, some requests, like, like for example, there's the uh, clothing um, record label I designed for. Yeah, like uh, three merch, so I call them my fashion merch. Yeah, and some custom as well. And people request like, yo, like, um, can I have this? I'm like, sure. They tell me why they want it, and I will share ideas with them. Like, oh, this is my brand. I have to, you know, like, this is how I want it. I don't want it to be over like this. It doesn't look cool like this. Yeah, I'm just there, like a creative director of my brand. Yeah. So how do you... You know, how, what, what do you put into consideration when styling a client or designing something for them? Do you look at the client's wishes and your own creativity? So what happens when the client's creativity is totally clashing with what you would naturally do? What happens? Yeah, that's why I, I need to, like, you know, check uh, e the profile of the client. I have to, like, sit down, talk. Even if I can, maybe it's uh, not the same location where I was, like, you can talk on the phone. Like, I'll tell you, ask, like, what do you really want, like, you know? What, like, there's, some people are crazy, some people are, like, different. This kind of, like, the style is different. So I have to know the person, actually, like, what is your mood of style? Okay, so, so if I came to you as a client, what, what would be some of the questions you'd ask me before you decide to put me in a piece? I, I'll ask you, like, right now you look comfy. So obviously, like, I know you like um, being simple and all that, but there's not everyone that likes to be like that. So it's different. So I have to, like, get to know the person forever, like, before I okay with the share ideas, it it's business, so I have to get related with the person. Okay, what would you say? Who would you say have been your biggest client so far? <sighs> okay, give us give us some names. Just name, drop some names for us. Who would you say? Who, or who was the first celebrity that you styled? Because I reckon that you styled a few celebrities as well. So um, who was the first if you can remember? Um, I can I can I can talk about that. Okay. Yeah, but I, I have a, like a. I have um, some people like I've, I've worked in, you know, yeah, like I, I'm like working at the moment as well, but it's just like I'm um, not out yet. Yeah. Okay. So they have to decide what is business. I have so to. So you don't mention any celebrity you've worked with? No, like I've, some people have shown me so much love, like it's really, really huge for me, like David O, praise, like, like I'm so, so, so grateful, like it's really big, like big love and respect to them, like. Like, that's a real one. So you're not based in Nigeria, are you? Yeah. All right. How would you rate the fashion industry in Nigeria? You're based in the U.S. What would you say are some of the things no, that... Actually, I'm based in um, Malaysia. Okay, you're based in Malaysia. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Yes, I take yeah. that back. You're based in Malaysia, and this is Nigeria. How would you say that... How would you compare both fashion industries? 
Um, like I used to watch um videos on YouTube and all that, and I used to say like it's dope, like really, really dope. Yeah. So that's why, like, yeah, I have to come back home at the end of the day. Like, no matter how long you spend, wherever you are, you have to come back home, and you know, so people can know you're really, really serious. Like, so are you back finally? Um, uh, no, not for now. Not for now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what what's the future for your design for your brand? What would you say the future is? Um, just just want to like you know get to people, you know, just just actually I just want to be successful, you know. I want my brand to be like everywhere, you know, like, you know, just want to be successful, like being real. Who would you say are some of the people that inspire you the most in the fashion industry? I'm five. And Virgil Abloh. Yeah. So do not Nigerians inspire you? Nothing. Of course, there's a lot. <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm being honest, like, you know, because most Nigerians, like, um, because the, the mode of my, my, my um, creativity, like, and all that, like, so I'm just doing me, like, you know, I'm just trying to focus on the same path I started with. So I'm just trying to focus on that. Okay. I'm not trying to look out anybody, like, what they're doing or whatever, like that, yeah. All right, so um, we, we wish you all the best. What's, what, are you, what should we expect to see from you? Maybe are you, are you dropping a clothing line? Are you starting training? Are there any projects you're working on? Is there anything yeah, you're actually, out for you? Yeah, actually, like um, right now at the moment, I'm trying to, you know, I'm learning how to uh, like uh, tailoring, like how to sell clothes and all that, nice. which is like a private, like no one, because most things like I do, I used to post on my social media, but I didn't post uh, this. I just try to, you know, to focus on that. Like I don't want it to be out there. Yeah. You're learning how to sew. Yeah. Brilliant. If there's one Nigerian person you would that you you look forward to styling because some people think, oh, if I meet this one person, that would be my life's goal. Who's that one person you look forward to styling that the day you hear that this person wants to wear your design, you can faint. <laughs> you mean Nigeria? Yeah. Just Nigeria. Yes. Um, female or male? Any. Also, give me. You can give me female or male in Nigeria than outside Nigeria. Uh, um. Um, it's a really hard question. Okay. Yeah, because I, I like a lot of people, like I want to work with a lot of people. Yeah, so I would like to work with Davido. Okay. Yeah, and the female side, um, and Tiwa Savage. I knew you were going to say Tiwa Savage. In fact, it was like it was at the tip of my tongue. I was oh, with, really? I almost said, yeah. <laughs> what of some, what of outside the country, other people that you're looking oh, for? Oh, outside of the country, oh. Um... Outside the country. Pharrell. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Pharrell, Virgil. Um, this, this, this. Okay. We wish you all the best with your career you and with much. your fashion. How can people follow you on social media and keep up to date with what you're doing? Thank you very much. How can people follow you on social media? Um, you can follow me on my uh, private social media um, at Sexy Tiny. All right. And on my business page, uh, Dama Pearl. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. We've been speaking with Damlola Deshamo, also known as Tiny. He's the creative director of Dam Apparel, and he's joined us to share his journey through fashion and style. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.